Nicopoe, in the East Nicopoe. This area is a particularly good place to make whiskey because you have a very good source of, of water. And that water is stored in these sandstones uh, that we see here, that are rocks that are carboniferous in age. That's 330 million years old. Sandstone acts a bit like a sponge. The water is held in the little pore spaces around the grains. The water that the distillery will be using fell as rain on the land well over 60 years ago and then trickled through the soil and through the rocks and interacted with the rocks, picking up the minerals and absorbing the sort of character of those rocks. Here at King's Barnes Golf Links, and it's uh, it's Lynx golf in, in the classic form. Lynx golf being um, golf played on the land between the beach and the fertile land. Golf on 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 Lynx land is, is is based on sand dunes, and the turf is very short and, and very hard. So you have to have a very pure golf shot. The wind is absolutely key. One day you could be hitting a four iron to a hole, and the next day you could be hitting a pitching wedge. Been a, a tradition around this part of Fife here has always been barley growing. The hit all goes for malting. We'll count some of the heads and there's a big head of barley. And you know, when you grab it and then you give it a bit of rub and look at it and you can see it, it's going to be good. You know that it's going to be, and you're afraid of nice and long sunshine hard inside us. And we've got that this year. You need the sunshine. A little bit of breeze dries, dries all, all the dew off the crops, you know, the breeze and the sun comes out, just dries it perfect. If you have days like this, the, the moisture in the grain comes down. If you can get it down below 16%, you're laughing. The spring barley has been exceptional, I would say. Great, great combining weather and the, the grain was nice and low in moisture, so we had to roll the combine all the time. Cut, 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 pile, pile, pile.
here we are at the very heart of King's Barnes Distillery, an ancient ducat, and now the home of the very first class filled with spirit made at the distillery. Of course, the spirit it's been filled with is crystal clear. It's white spirit. It gets all its color and a lot of its character from the wood itself, from the plants. And the spirit has been made from the simplest possible ingredients, water, mineral rich, and comes from 100 meters below us here, and barley grown locally. And the third ingredient, of course, is yeast. The transformation of the spirit into whiskey, which takes place in the cask, is miraculous. It is a, a complete metamorphosis. But the spirit that goes into the cask um, is filled out, is mellowed, um, is given more character. Of course, the, the whiskey made here at King's Barnes uh, will be a lowland malt. The barley used is unpeated, so it won't have any smokiness. It will be a lighter style than its highland cousins. Um, it will be elegant, overall a lighter, fragrant um, style of whisky. Of course, we don't know what the King's Barn single malt whisky will be like until it's been matured. I'm looking forward very much to tasting it. And anyway, the creation of single malt whisky is always worthy of celebration. Let me give you King's Barn. Yes. King's Barn.